Did you know that in Poland people die from pollution 16 times more than in Iceland? Or that in Serbia people die from cancer twice as much as in Cyprus? Or that, even though it may seem strange, one of the healthiest countries in Europe is the first in the world where people die from complications caused by Alzheimer's and dementia. Hello everyone, and welcome to Amazing Europe. In today's video, we'll discover the 10 healthiest European nations. To create this video, we relied on the ranking contained in the Legatum Prosperity Index, complementing it with official data provided exclusively by the OECD and Eurostat. We want to clarify that we are not sponsored by anyone, but we chose this study because it is very recent, conducted by a globally renowned independent organization, and because it takes into account numerous aspects related to health. In the description, you can find more information about our sources. Number 10. Italy. Italy is a country with a stark health divide. The Po Valley, a large plain located in the northern part of the country, is one of the most polluted areas in Europe, while the situation is significantly better in the south and the two main Italian islands. However, the North certainly has the best healthcare facilities, some of which are even European excellence. Life expectancy in Italy is among the highest in Europe. Here, people live on average for 82.7 years, the first 68 of which are in good health. This data is very important. In fact, to measure the health status of a nation, experts not only look at life expectancy but also at healthy life expectancy, which is until what age people live in health before falling ill with more serious diseases. Italy is among the best in Europe in this regard, and for several reasons. It's true that Italians are not very sporty, as only 20% of them do at least 150 minutes of sports per week. However, their diet greatly helps them stay healthy. Almost 60% of Italians eat a lot of vegetables every day, which helps reduce the obesity rate in this country. In fact, only 12% of Italians are obese, one of the lowest rates in Europe and among the 38 OECD countries. In Italy, we find one of the very few blue zones in the world, which are areas where life expectancy is significantly higher than the global average. And experts say that nutrition plays a very important role in this. Speaking of diseases, Italy is among the countries in the world where people die the least from liver diseases, but it is the 19th country in the world where people die from diseases related to anemia. It is also the country in this ranking where people die the most from causes related to pollution, although a good part of the deaths is concentrated in the Po Valley. Number 9. Denmark. Diet in Denmark is not as healthy as in Italy, since only 46% of Danes eat vegetables every day, a figure below the average of the 38 OECD countries. This means that there are slightly more obese people in Denmark than in Italy, although still fewer compared to the OECD average. However, there are aspects in Denmark that place it a step above Italy. Firstly, there is less pollution in Denmark, resulting in half as many deaths from pollution compared to Italy. It also helps that Danes smoke a little less than Italians, with 13.9% of Danes compared to 19.1% of Italians. Danes also engage in much more physical activity than Italians. 55% of them do at least 150 minutes of physical activity per week, a figure 15 percentage points above the OECD average. But where Denmark certainly excels is in its healthcare system. 81% of Danes are satisfied with their healthcare system, compared to 55% in Italy, where there is a significant difference between the north and the south of the country in this aspect. The good health of Danes is also evidenced by the fact that there is no particular cause of death that stands out above the others. Unlike what happens in Bulgaria, where lack of physical activity and unhealthy diet result in more than half of deaths being due to diseases of the circulatory system. In Denmark, the top two causes of death are coronary heart disease and Alzheimer's and dementia, but they are almost equally prominent compared to other causes. Number 8. Finland. Finland is the first country in the world where people die from causes related to Alzheimer's and dementia and the fifth regarding schizophrenia. It's important to note that these diseases don't directly cause death, but they can lead to complications that ultimately result in death. So why is Finland in this top 10? Simply because in almost everything else, it's doing fine. With 12% of daily smokers, Finland is the ninth OECD country where smoking is least prevalent. The air is clean, and only 7 out of 100,000 people die from pollution, compared to an OECD average of about 29. Even regarding diabetes, it's not in bad shape, slightly below the OECD average. These and other factors contribute to a life expectancy of 81.7 years in 2021, just over 4 years more than in 2000. 
Finland is indeed one of the nations that has most significantly increased life expectancy in the last 20 years, as it was 77.8 years in 2000. In Finland, 23% of deaths are due to complications caused by Alzheimer's and dementia, while 20.3% are due to coronary heart disease. This seems to be mainly due not so much to alcohol but to a diet poor in vegetables. Regarding alcohol, Finland has made huge progress over the years, and now the average alcohol intake per year is slightly below the average of the 38 OECD countries. As for diet, it is quite low in vegetables. Only 48% of Finns claim to eat vegetables every day, and only 14% of them consume 5 portions of fruits and vegetables daily, compared to Denmark's 23%. If this aspect improves, Finland would surely climb the rankings. Number 7. Germany. We must admit that we were a bit surprised to find Germany on this list, and probably some Germans will be too, considering that 12.4% of them perceive themselves to be in poor health. Actually, Germany isn't doing so bad, at least compared to other OECD countries. Life expectancy is 80.8 years, slightly above the OECD average. However, of these 80.8 years, a remarkable 65.6 .6 are spent in good health, one of the best figures in Europe and beyond. Let's say that with alcohol and vegetables, things could be better, with only 49% of them eating vegetables every day and 11% consuming 5 portions of fruits and vegetables. This leads to the fact that the leading cause of death in Germany is coronary heart disease, with almost 21% of deaths caused by this condition. However, this doesn't prevent Germans from living a life without major health issues, at least until the age of 65. Why is that? Perhaps part of the answer lies in the excellent German healthcare system. 85% of the population is truly satisfied with the healthcare system. Healthcare spending in Germany amounts to 12.7% of GDP, a very high figure compared to other OECD countries. Germany performs very well globally in terms of deaths due to stroke and influenza and pneumonia. In fact, it is among the countries in the world where these causes result in the fewest deaths. Number 6. Luxembourg. After seeing Luxembourg in the list of the top 10 countries in Europe with the highest salaries, here it is again in this ranking. Firstly, the quality of the healthcare system, with 86% of the population considering themselves highly satisfied. And this is even though health spending in 2022 amounts to only 5.5% of GDP, one of the lowest figures in Europe. However, the healthcare system works, as in this small country only 147 out of 100,000 deaths could have been avoided, compared to the OECD average of 237. The average life expectancy in Luxembourg is 82.7 years, of which the first 62 are lived in good health. Here's an interesting fact. Luxembourg is one of the few OECD countries where women fall ill before men. Men begin to have significant health issues on average at 62.3 years, while women at 61.6 years. Luxembourg is the sixth country in the world with deaths somehow related to schizophrenia, although we remember that schizophrenia does not directly kill people. On the other hand, it does very well globally in terms of deaths related to asthma, influenza, and pneumonia. The number of deaths due to pollution is also quite low, 14.8 per 100,000 inhabitants, compared to the OECD average of 28.9. Obesity is also a few percentage points below the OECD average, while Luxembourg could do a bit better in terms of alcohol and smoking. One last curiosity. In Luxembourg, there is a huge difference in vegetable consumption between men and women. While 47% of women eat vegetables every day, only 28% of men do, quite a difference. Number 5. Netherlands. An excellent healthcare system and plenty of physical activity are two of the reasons that have placed the Netherlands in this ranking. 62% of Dutch people engage in at least 150 minutes of sports per week, a figure well above the OECD average. Regarding the healthcare system, health-related expenses in this small nation amount to 10.2% of GDP, and this also contributes to 83% of the population being satisfied with the system. The average life expectancy in the Netherlands is 81.4 years, of which just over 60 are spent in good health. Both diabetes and the number of avoidable deaths are well below the OECD averages, while improvements could be made regarding pollution. Every year, 26.7 out of 100,000 people die from pollution-related causes. While this figure is slightly below the OECD average, it is still one of the worst in this ranking, after Germany and especially Italy. 
In this country, like in Denmark, there are no particular causes of mortality that stand out above others. The top two causes of death are complications related to Alzheimer's and dementia and coronary heart disease, but we are still talking about fairly low percentages. Regarding cancer, it ranks among the worst in the world for lung cancers but among the best for cervical cancer and uterine cancer. Number 4. Switzerland. There is little to say about Swiss healthcare. 94% of the inhabitants of this small nation report being satisfied with the healthcare system, and it's understandable, considering that healthcare expenses amount to a whopping 11.3% of GDP. In other aspects as well, Switzerland is doing really well. The obesity rate is low, diabetes is low, and avoidable deaths are low. It seems that even regarding vegetable consumption, they are doing quite well. The OECD has not provided data on vegetable consumption in Switzerland, but a national survey funded by the Swiss Confederation shows that 87% of the population eats at least one portion of fruits or vegetables per day, but only 13% consume five portions. The survey is 10 years old. If anyone has more updated data, please share it in the comments. Where the Swiss could improve is smoking, as 19.1% of them smoke daily, compared to the OECD average of 16%. Regarding diseases, the leading cause of death in Switzerland is coronary heart disease, accounting for 18.5% of deaths caused by this disease. Switzerland is the fourth country in the world where deaths are indirectly caused by osteoarthritis, but it is among the countries in the world where fewer people die from stroke. One last curiosity, 76% of Swiss people engage in at least 150 minutes of sports per week, the highest figure among the 38 OECD countries. All of this gives the Swiss a life expectancy of 83.9 years, the highest in Europe. Number 3. Sweden. In the ranking compiled by the Legatum Institute, Sweden takes the lowest step of the podium in the ranking of the healthiest European countries. It is the first country in this ranking where people enjoy the most years in good health, 68.4 years. The latest official data dates back to 2021, but before 2020, Sweden was vying for the top spot with Malta, which however, for a few points, does not appear in this ranking. Life expectancy in Sweden is also among the highest in Europe, 83.1 years. The clean air in Sweden means that only 6.5 people out of 100,000 die each year from pollution-related causes. Sports are quite popular in Sweden. 56% of Swedes engage in at least 150 minutes of physical activity per week, much more than the OECD country average, but much less than Switzerland. On the other hand, there are many fewer smokers in Sweden than in Switzerland, only 9.7% of Swedes smoke every day. Diabetes and avoidable deaths are also very low, and conversely, healthcare expenses are quite high, 10.7% of GDP, with 74% of Swedes satisfied with their healthcare system. Number 2. Iceland. Just above Sweden, we find this wonderful island in northern Europe. One factor contributing to its health is the very low pollution and also the very low smoking rate. In Iceland, only 4.6 people out of 100,000 die from pollution-related causes, while daily smokers make up 7.2% of the population. Both figures are the lowest among all 38 OECD countries. Regarding diet in Iceland, there's something to note. 57% of Icelanders claim to eat vegetables every day, exactly in line with the OECD average, but only 9% consume 5 portions of fruits and vegetables. Additionally, according to data provided by the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization, Iceland is the second country in the world for meat and fish consumption, a whopping 181 kilograms per person per year, with half of it consisting only of fish and seafood. As for sports, they engage in the same amount of physical activity as the Swedes. But the less healthy diet means that, according to official OECD data, 21.4% of people in Iceland are obese. Regarding diseases, curiously Iceland is among the top in the world for deaths caused by skin cancer and complications from multiple sclerosis, while it is among the lowest in the world for deaths from stroke, influenza and pneumonia, diabetes mellitus, kidney disease, and hypertension. In this ranking, we're not providing too many technical details to avoid weighing down the video too much. However, if any of you want to know some more precise data about health or diseases in your country, you can ask in the comments. And while you're at it, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, you'd be doing us a great favor, as you'll help us spread our project. Number 1. Norway. 
It's no surprise to find Norway in first place, although personally, we were surprised not to find some other nations in this top 10, as we will see later. Norway has one of the highest life expectancies in Europe, 83.2 years, of which 68.6 are spent in good health. What strikes about Norway is that it's one of the OECD countries where there has been the greatest increase in life expectancy in the last 20 years. According to official data, from 2000 to 2021, it increased by 4.4 years. Surely, credit also goes to the healthcare system, considering that 80% of Norwegians are satisfied with it. Norway is also one of the countries with the highest number of doctors and nurses. But the clean air in Norway and the healthy habits of its inhabitants also play a role. Only 7.3 Norwegians out of 100,000 die from pollution-related causes, compared to nearly 29 in the OECD average. They are also not big smokers, and the diet is certainly healthier here than in Iceland, as they eat more vegetables and less meat than Icelanders. Plus, they also engage in more sports, 68% of them do at least 150 minutes of physical activity every week. All this leads to one of the lowest diabetes rates in Europe, about 3.6% of the population. There are also fewer obese people compared to Iceland, and also a low number of avoidable deaths, meaning deaths that could have been prevented with prevention or proper care. We have to say that we were a bit surprised not to find some nations in this top 10 made by the Legatum Institute, especially Malta and Spain. In fact, both have a very high life expectancy, and the data concerning the years lived in good health from birth is also high. In fact, in the ranking made instead by the Bloomberg Global Health Index, Spain appears in first place, but this ranking concerns data prior to 2019, and that's why we didn't choose it for this video. Tell us in the comments what you think. We are also preparing a video on the countries in Europe with the worst health. In the meantime, you can also watch the video on the 10 countries in Europe where the local population is declining most rapidly. There you can find some information also regarding the health of these countries. You can find this video in the top right corner. Well, that's all for this video. Until next time.